この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。Alright, welcome everyone. I'm Pillow and I burn my tongue on my head this morning, so I can't really talk. We're gonna do a whole reaction like this. Welcome everyone, I'm Pillow and I'm here for No No Be o r Repeat Episode 1. We've been taking a little late here because I have a bit of a life and I'm sure what's in it. And even my tongue really fucks up and I can't let it stop us. We gotta go ahead and watch No No Be o I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, welcome everyone, I'm Tia Boo. I'm here for No No Be o Repeat Episode 1. I did badly burn my tongue on my tea this morning. I forgot that I had to turn the temperature of the the boiling water, the hot water up. Um, you can't turn boiling water's temperature up, it just boils more. I had to turn the temperature of the water up uh, in order to brew the oolong that I made as opposed to a normal green tea. And then I was like, it's probably normal. <laughs> and I burned all across my tongue and it's really bad. But that's not going to stop us because there are some people who are really fucking sad that I haven't watched Dona Biori in a while. And I'm really, really sorry. I know that it is not the best. Um, I will reiterate that it will be an inconsistent slot. But for now, for the next couple of weeks, I don't have D&D on Saturdays. And so I haven't been utterly, completely, fully exhausted on Sundays. And so I'm going to watch some. So today... We will watch, at the very least, episode one of No No Biori Repeat. I have avoided all spoilers for this season of show. I don't know what's going to be going on, and I'm excited to find out. I think that's everything for our spiel. I'm not even going to show for any of my stuff. It doesn't matter. Um, um, uh, this is just for all y'all. Hope you enjoy. I hope I enjoy too. I kind of just rolled out of bed and I haven't had my tea yet, but we'll, we'll get going as we get going during the show, and it should be fun and comfy enough to watch regardless. So... I've got No No Biori Episode 1. I've gone ahead and downloaded the Toy Shy version. Toy Shi? I don't know. Um, they seem good. I hope that they are good subs and good versions. Uh, if they're not, then there's not much I can do about it yet. But come next week, maybe I can do something about it. So let me know. I've downloaded that version. We're going to watch Episode 1 of Repeat. And that's everything. There will be two versions. Picture in picture in the description. Timer on YouTube. Beep beep tower to count you down. Let's get straight to the No Nones and the Bioris. Nyam pasu time, baby. Let's go. Beep beep timer. Okay, happy day. Tweeter, tweeter, go the birds. This might be sippable. Oh. And nothing has changed. Rando said, ooh. Yep, brand new red backpack. Hard shell leather. I actually looked into those a little while ago. They're really cool. Ah, that's a sick massage chair. Whoa. Whoa. Yay. Makes sense. Got to take your new backpack for a walk. It's important. Ha, ah, hip hop. Is there a little squeak in there? No, it's the music. I thought it was the squeak of brand new leather. You know, that... Okay. First grader. One and only expert Nyampasuer. Ha. Hmm. Oh, hit me with the OP. Yes! I got a new one. I'm already a fan. Is that Rangi's voice actress? I don't think so. Wait, if she's a first grader again, that means it's not the next year. So are we repeating? Oh. Is that what... Is that what it means? Oh, mirrored. Okay, so that's the same as the... Cool. That's rad. That they've integrated pieces of the first OP. Ooh, death flowers. Ooh. Very different animation. A lot of jumping around. A lot more frame skips and stuff. This is a bop. This is groovy. Tree. Places. Ha! 
Ha <laughs> ha! That's so cute. Boy. Oh, I used that somewhere. Sweet. I became a first grader. Hmm. Indeed, Sensei. Ooh, that water looked pretty. Ooh, Fitzes. Almost a Yamada esque shot in a way. Okitano. She loves it, that's why. You wear it! True, true. Why are you wearing it now? Whoa, those preserves look sick. Sweet. School. It's like three hours early. Oh, huh. It's a full day early. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why are you following me? Hip, hop, hip, hop. A lot more depth stuff. Not a huge level up, but it's a, a distinct and obvious improvement. Oh. oh, fuck you. It's the Sword of Legend. Yeah, fuck you, man. Play along. Just like a branch. Just like a branch. It's the Sword of Legend. I will be king of the Engels. Shut up, it's a game. You suck, Hikane. You suck, be cooler, Hikane. Huh? <laughs> Fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. Uh, of course. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Why why are you going to school? It's not a school day though. Uh-huh. Tokyo iku. Baska kita. Ooh. Oh, you're a full child now. I'm a full child now? <gasps> I'm growing up. A lot of little hair movement that I wasn't there before. <laughs> Invisibly, silently, sneakily. Mmm, good vibes. Somebody else at this stop? Nope, nope, we're just getting off. Damn right. Mmm, I'm excited. Marking her path all the way with the sword. I wonder if that'll come back around in a cool way. I'll bet it will. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Of course. Of course. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> he just gets ahead of them still. Fucking, fucking solid snake over here. <laughs> Nani. Hmm. Oh, 
Not a John? Not a John? Sick. <laughs> to a fucking sick flip. Uh-oh. No, no, no. The, the full name, like you were the thing. <laughs> hey! Beautiful. <laughs> oh. Oh no, it needs a yo! Uh, it's just a salute. We got it. Hello, sis. Why not? Right? <laughs> the freaking buckets. Wait for it. Ooh, what a nice little moment. I thought we were going to have a joke where Subaru falls into the hole. But she's just spending time in her new digs, discovering a new place, a new location. Steal all of it. Uh-huh. Don't fall in, don't fall in. Okay. Good job. This is super cute. This quiet sequence where she's exploring has so much emotional weight to it. It's really nice. There's definitely been some, some improvement with how things are conveyed and portrayed. Ooh, a piano. Go dink the dingles. Give the dingles a dink. Dingling, dingling, dingling. Nope. Gotta mark your path. Okay. <laughs> Bye. No. You can't see the future ahead of you. Can I really take the first step if I don't know where I'm going? Yes. Yes, you can. That's a cool way to instill that conundrum. The difficulty of a not entirely visible future. And the necessity of taking those first steps on it anyway. I like that. Bye. Coming up on the half. <laughs> uh huh. Phone. Hmm. <gasps> cha cha. What cha 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 cha. Motorola Razor. Oh. Yeah, you gotta have one or two, you know, just a couple. Nah. <gasps> oh, she needs it. <laughs> that, yeah, not what she meant. Fair enough. Uh, uh. <laughs> Literally only one drain car? Oh boy. Bye. Yeah. Good luck out there. He gonna... Not gonna happen. Uh, not gonna happen. Bye, he gonna... Oh, did you forget something? 
Da! E? It doesn't even show the park service because there's no service out here. Oh my god, it was just a useless brick out here. That's so fucking good. Great gag. Well done. Well, the mail exists. Bye. Yeah, FedEx it. Back to calm. Fun little interlude. Back to the calm. This is super cute so far. <laughs> More hand me downs. Super true. Can't choose that. Sweet. You'd be a senpai. <laughs> yeah, you're desperate for that, huh? Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> yes. It's real expensive. It's a super ex expensive Serafuku. <gasps> now that's the tougher question. <laughs> I think she can do it. You should let her do it. Yeah. Why not? There's a good idea. Oh, man. Huh. Actually holding it, not wearing it? Why not? I wonder. You did it, Renge! You got on the bus on your own. Oh, she's all made up and her hair is all done. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Shiny, cute little shoes. The backpack is on. Go, Renge, off into your future. That will happen. You have to choose your own path, Range. And you can't know where it will lead you. But you have to take those steps anyway. It's part of growing up. It's also a really cool idea for an episode. <laughs> Nice. All of them. All the you. Oh, everybody's got one. Natsumi and Renge, the new students. Ta-da! So, if we are in the previous year, will we get up to the new arrival? Aw, oh, it's so magical to have a welcoming place invite you in. Nice. Oop, that's a little flickery. Oh, made up. It's gonna be so small. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yo.
Great. Simple. Frightening. But simple. These are great. Oh, they're wabbits. Oh, okay. Not quite in key. Bunch of kids singing is perfect. That's perfect. Hopscotch and jump rope. Fledge? Oh, like fledglings, like growing out bird feathers and being able to fly. Got it. Oh, and that tree is just starting to bloom. Okay, so we're a little bit before Hotaru's arrival. Because she comes in later in the year. Oh, a new life ahead of you. Yes, Renge? Yes, I have all the pencil power. You will never stop me now that I have gained the recorder. <gasps> Sweet. Is that Fiend? I think it is. Oh, one gag. Nope. Yes. Ah, and the dream of the stick is left behind for the reality of the recorder. You don't need a path marked for you. Oh, hello! You're moving into town, are you, lass? You've seen a lot of people go in, but no one comes out. Looking to enter a Sagioka primary school now, are we? No, everyone will hate you. Oh, yeah. Woo! I like this ED. I like the OP, too. We'll talk about it.
Cute. Hey. Asahi ga oka eri. And so it's... Okay, that's fun. That's fun. Lude. Not really. Haha. <laughs> hey, and this is the same. Okay, it looks like there's gonna be some volleyball, maybe? I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, we're going into that episode as well. Doggo. We went to look at the stars. What a great episode. Um, this was a really effectively put together episode one. And there's a thing here that is going to be is going to be hard to express as we go through it. And it's the flow and feeling of the whole thing and the way that it focuses around and, and the episode sort of orbits Renge. Um to create this emotional landscape of her simple reactions to simple things. The little things like the desire to wear the backpack on the day before school just to practice it. The need to have some kind of a plan for her entrance ceremony, even though it ends up just going pretty normally. Um, the stick, the sword of truth or whatever that is the stick and the way that it gets left behind. All of these little elements weave together into a sort of a chaotic, childish landscape of her life and her experience with the world as it is growing out. And also this sort of underlying tension of fear of change to some extent, but also a deep excitedness about what might change in the future. And as we know Renge already, we know which side of that fear she's going to end up falling on. But we see elements of that throughout season one of the actual, the fear of the future of, of the unknown woven into her character too. It makes her feel so multidimensional and real as a childish character to have these different feelings pulling her in different directions and to have these, these fears and doubts that are then then almost washed away by excitement toward the future and and looking toward what might be. It's really cool, and I think it's all embodied in those lines about sort of not knowing what the future will hold or not being able to see the rest of the path from where she is, being only able to see a little bit further. And there's sort of this, this simul fear as she's marking this path behind her, because that's like the the Hansel and Gretel trail that leads her back home. It's like you're stepping into a future where you can't step back from. And I think that's the truth about humans and about our, our nature is that when you step into change, there's this fear that you can't be the person that you were before you, you, you made that change. The truth, though, is that you're always still that person to some extent, that we are layers of people painted on top of each other, more like Russian nesting dolls than like one solid contiguous individual. And that Renge is still that child as well as that first grader. And we see that both are still present within her. And the fear doesn't really go away, neither does the excitement. It all just sort of mellows down as she begins to invest herself in the things that occur in the future. And I think it's a really beautiful look at the way that a child can, a child like Renge, might approach scary futures and exciting futures. Because the truth, the big hidden truth of this episode is that the scary future future and the exciting future are the same damn future and you just have to pick whether it's worth it and she does and it is and she gets a reward out of it which is sort of a new stick she gets the recorder which is so part and parcel to Rang Range's character that her not having it up to this point and seeking it out seeking out an identity in some way through the sword of truth or whatever and through other things through the the dressing up through the thing that she says at the the institute at the, at the the um the opening ceremony, through the backpack, through all of these things, those all are part of who she's becoming as well. But the recorder is the thing that she latches onto and leaves the stick behind and manages to find a new self. It's really cool. It's really cool. 
Oh, I like it. Okay, so we start with Avant again. We get the OP. I like this OP. I like the elements of it that are like uh, callbacks to the first OP, like her running on this thing. That's a callback to the same OP. Little balance issue, but it's calmer, and they're all doing it together, and it's nice. Um, there's also some animation difference, very clearly. A little bit more jumpy in the animation, I would say. And I don't mean that because she's jumping here, but because it's literally one frame from one side to the other. There's no arc in the top frame, right? There's no airborne frame. Oh, there is one. I was wrong. It's just really fast, and I missed it. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it's it's jumpy. The animation is quick. Uh, and that's not necessarily good or bad. It's just the way that it is, and that's fine. It's got a little bit more energy to it, a little bit more life. I love this moment in it. Very cool, and the little marching along through different seasons is ultra mega cute, and the whole OP is very, very nice. I like this OP a lot. I like the look of things a lot. I like the feel of things a lot. I like the flow of scenes a lot. I like the character, character interactions a lot, a lot. And I love how much time we spend with Renge just going, whoa. It's the most important thing in the entire episode. The most important thing in the entire episode are all of these silent scenes where Renge just goes, whoa, ah, Ooh, ah, ooh, little random reactions to things and her experiences, because through those, we live vicariously through this child and experience the journey of stepping into the unknown excitedly with her through all of those experiences, especially later on once she's already been introduced to the school and she looks around the school with nobody else around. That's the shit. Also, all of these landscape shots that establish the zone and establish the feel of being on a bus and falling asleep during a, a, a warm day's bus ride, these are things that are believable. This frame is really important. It's a gateway. You can imagine this as like a tori, like an arch, right? Like an arch gateway that is the entrance to a sacred zone or a different location. And she has to make the choice to step through it. All of this scary but interesting stuff lies beyond it. And we spend a good long time, no interaction, no reaction from our character, just watching everything. And then she bows to it out of reverence and her book bag falls apart. So something that she should not do in the future. Oh, you're all used to this? Yes, they're all used to this. And we keep some other gags going, like Subaru going be before them and, and being fast, all that stuff. This whole gag is very funny. Uh, yo! Uh, super, super wonderful. Cute stuff. The character interactions, once again, are really fun and really good. You can't go in because of reasons. You gotta leave this. And this is my favorite, pretty much my favorite scene in the whole episode. The slowness. The walking around, the examining, the exploring, the different locations, getting spooked by things, running away from them, but finding something else to be intrigued by, and observing all that we possibly can, including the piano, all these different places, all these different locations. Running and leaving and creating the path and discovering, I can't see the rest of the path from here. How scary is that? How scary is that? I know there's a step ahead of me, but what about two steps ahead? What about three steps ahead? What will I do? Can I do it? Can I accomplish that goal? Can I achieve what's in front of me? Can I do what everyone else does? Can I, be ex can I, can I achieve what's expected? She doesn't know. How could she? How could any of us? It requires a certain leap of faith, a certain trust in yourself, a certain trust in the world to step into the unknown. To step forward, it requires a significant bit of bravery. And I don't think we laud that bravery enough. The simple stuff. The bravery of a child going to school for pretty much the first time. But we all do it. And when we do it, we become stronger and better at doing it. And I think we should reinforce that more, in general. I think we should reinforce that more, that willingness to step off into the unknown and step off in a direction that we're intrigued by, even if it's scary, even if it is unknown, even if we don't know what will occur or what will come of it. It can be the most worthwhile thing that, that any of us can do. And so I think we should laud that a little bit more. And I like that it's presented here in this way. I think it's really cool. Okay, let's move along. So backing it up, backing it up enjoying stuff, sending off Hikane, a little fun thing with the phone. I think it's very cute. The whole, it can do anything, and she immediately wants to make whales fly. I also love the understated gag of just one train car on this train. Absolutely hilarious. And of course, making fun of Renge, but it's it, she's the one who forgot the thing. No! I also love the joke that it's never even experienced a bar of service yet. Oof. Oof. 
rough, dude. Bye. Okay, and everybody gets ready. Everybody puts on their clothes. We learn a little bit more about the dynamic between these characters to some extent. And this is the best gag in the whole thing. Is that outfit hot couture? Is it? Is it? Yes. Yes, it is. Of course it is. Yes. Okay, so what is that? I was hoping I could get away with that one and just lie to you. <laughs> Sorry, Range. Whoops. So fucking cute. Uh, okay. That's our first crash. That's fine. Great. Hot Couture. Bus pass. Can I go alone? And now she's even more excited to do things on her own. Because she tried it the once and she practiced it and now she's she's confident. I also I love Big Sister being a good parent slash sister. Let's go get some sleep. Okay. Good job. Also, Renge all done up with her hair like a little bit waved. Like there's some stuff going on with her hair has been done up a little bit nicer. And she's like all made up to look all cute. It's so cute. And there's this feeling in these scenes of this combination of like wavering tension and and burgeoning excitement sort of mixed together and and influencing each other. It's so nice that they managed to get all these emotions down. And a huge part of that is the music, which, of course, we can't listen to. And she goes sprinting for it. Let's go. So fucking sick. Let's go, Renge. The little flower, the beautiful room that's been made up. Obviously, this is why it was secret and she couldn't can't come in before sits at her little desk and just soaks in the experience. We do our little opening ceremony and we spend a long time with all of these establishing shots because it's the emotion of the moment and the future that it promises that's more important than what's really occurring. And we hold this shot for forever and more and more and more, more things around the town, more moments to experience, more promise of a future. And eventually, we deliver unto Range a recorder, something new, something that lets you choose your own path, your own music. But she stands around here and looks out into the future and wonders and experiences the excitement of finding her new toys. I'm a first grader. Damn right you're a first grader. And as she steps into becoming a first grader, to some extent, she leaves behind the stick of power. The sword of truth. Because she doesn't need it anymore. She's got her own truth. She's got the recorder. And that's more interesting right now. And it is. Of course it is. How could it be otherwise? And of course, the stinger introduction. Because we're in the same timeline. And that's something that I think we should at least take a moment to address. It's a pretty crazy idea to repeat episodes and elements that you've seen before, just seemingly from a different perspective. But in a show like this, it's like the only time that it could really work. It can work in two types of shows. A show like this that's all slice of lifey and we just care about the character perspective. Or like a heist show where information understanding is super different between characters because if you show a heist from the perspective of the people being stolen from and then a heist from the perspective of the people doing the stealing it's a very different show right but both are neat both are interesting two separate sides of a story this doesn't have a heist built into it it's just a calm slice of life so how different can the experience of a bunch of mundane events be from a child's perspective and I think the answer is Renge is a crazy child. Hugely different. Immensely different. And that's really fucking neat. That's a cool idea. Again, like going to elementary school for the first time, it's a new idea and a scary one. But I think there's a lot of exciting stuff that can be done with it. And I think I'm excited to see how that plays out. There'll be a cool blend of like deja vu, nostalgia, and novelty all going on at the same time. And I think all of those together can be really cool. So I'm excited to see how that plays out and, and how they use that uh, uh, sort of gimmick. I don't, I don't mean it in a negative sense, but that's the word that comes to mind in order to flesh this show out. It's a very cool idea. All in all, the production feels maybe a step ahead 
uh, uh, maybe a step above. The animation certainly feels a little bit different, but it also doesn't feel front and center like we're trying to animate lots more things or anything. The show knows where its strengths are, and they're not in crazy shakuga. That's not the strength of this show. Um, the strength of the show is in the characters and in the moments and in the emotions and in the music and in the atmosphere and in the, the, the good vibes. Um, and it brought a plenty of good vibes. It was it was batting 100 or whatever a good batting. I don't follow baseball uh, with good vibes here. It was doing really good. So good first episode of a second season. Good job. No, no, Biori. I'm very excited to watch more. But that will I know I know I know that will have to wait for next time. Thank you for watching Nona Biori. I hope to get these out more consistently and also just be a better person and a, a better content creator in the future. That's my goal. We'll see. There's a balance to everything, and I'll have to figure out where Nona Biori fits into that balance, but I will endeavor to make it more consistent in the future. Sorry for the delays. Thank you for your patience, and thank you for watching Nona Biori Repeat Episode 1. See you next week for more. I've been Tiabu. This has been That. I guess I'll shill. If you like the video, likes, comments, subscribes. Uh, Patreon is on the Patreon. It's linked in the description. You can check me out on Instagram now. It's a thing. And also on Twitch, where I will probably be streaming Elden Ring. Maybe later today. Maybe not. I might take the day off. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. See ya later. Peace.